All right, welcome back. Students in East Hartford head back to class next Wednesday, mm -hmm. and that's less than a week away. To find out what's ahead for the district today, we're talking with the superintendent, Thomas Anderson. Thomas, good morning to you. How are you? Hi, good morning. How are you? Thanks for having me. Uh, thank you for the easy name, first of all. <laughs> we appreciate that so much. <laughs> Thomas, first, I, I love to get a little background on the superintendents. Can you tell us about your passion for teaching and how you got to where you are? You know, it's it's. this is actually my second month in, as superintendent in East Hartford. So I actually grew up here. So when we think about, you know, passion and commitment and having the opportunity to come back to the place that, you know, means so much is has been tremendous. And, you know, my last five years, I was superintendent in New Bedford in Massachusetts. And oh, wow. Okay. I was in, hmm. yeah. And, and also my, my first year of teaching was actually here before I moved to Maryland for a long time. So it's, it's you know, getting ready for the opening of school. This is what's most exciting. This is what we, you know, this is why we do it. You know, I think people are, you know, over the moon to be back and getting ready. Uh, you know, students, you know, they, they may be a little less excited. <laughs> but once they get in there and get into the swing of things, things I'm sure will go great. Absolutely, and I love how your career has taken you to different states, too, yeah, which is cool. really nice. But all roads lead home, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, how many students are there in the um, East Hartford Public School District this new school year? So we have about 6,500 students wow. in pre-K um, pre pre through 12, and we're opening up next week, August 30th. We've had new teachers this week, administrators, so a lot of teacher orientation. You know, about 40 new teachers, some are brand new, a good amount are experienced people. So, you know, just different levels, being able to differentiate what they need coming in. So it, it's, uh, we're looking forward to that. And, are you know, this has been a problem uh, for some school districts across the state. Are you fully staffed? <laughs> For the most part, we are. We'll have all of our teacher positions. We're still onboarding some individuals and hope to have all that done over the next couple of days, but we should be ready the first day of school. And I've said over the, over the years, it's been a challenge, you know, pre-COVID just in general, getting all of our positions, just being in different districts, it's been very similar, being in D.C. and in Chicago and in Maryland. It's just, it's just one of those things we contend with all the time. And I think the, the structures and the processes that East Hartford already had in place as far as recruiting, but then being able to retain a lot of the a lot of a lot of staff it worked out really well so we weren't having to do as much recruitment because there were less positions to fill so that that, that that's very encouraging oh that is a good thing yeah um, and what kinds of uh, fun things will be happening in the new school year you know, school is always fun, so there's always lots of exciting, you know, we think about hands-on activities, and if I kind of highlight some of the things that they'll be doing, you know, say at, at, at East Harvard High School, where we have a little over 1,600 students there, you know, they're going to get into uh, going into a modified block schedule. We really try to figure out how students can have have more access, earn more credits to really prepare them. We have great partnerships already with University of Connecticut, University of St. Joe's, and Trinity College. A lot of with our the SEBA program, so the Connecticut International Baccalaureate Academy, which is ranked the second second program in the state of Connecticut, second ranked school in the state of Connecticut, and, and, and is highly nationally ranked. So, really giving that level of exposure to more critical and analytical thinking skills, and a lot of the other things go without saying as far as being having hands on activities and really working out different math curriculum and literacy programs. So, we're really excited about how students are going to fully engage and spending time with staff to make sure we're supporting them. And just one other point, when we talk about just the academics, but really engaging the whole child. So students mm -hmm. and their families have that real sense of belonging. And coming in, I think that's a major focus as far as how are we truly engaging and having that two-way level of conversation with our parents so we can ensure that they're fully informed so they can position themselves the best to be a part of their child's education. Yeah. Tom, we only have about a minute, but uh, I'm that freshman going into high school for the first time. What's your advice? Freshman going in, I remember my my ninth grade year, I went into high school as a 13-year-old, and it's, wow. it's a lot. It's big, but... It, you know, <laughs> the whole thing is, just, you know, have some confidence. You know, it's, it's a new world. Certain things are going to be out of your control as far as how big the building is, but it's all relative. There are lots of people there to help and support. The older students are always eager to lend a helping hand. It's exciting. They feel important when someone asks them for, you know, for some assistance. And I think that that's the biggest thing. And, you know, we're, we're all in this together, and don't be afraid to ask those questions. I remember there's anxiety. I get it, but it's we just continue to, to, to work things out together. And, and have that confidence going in.
Yeah, the communication shouldn't end the moment you leave the school doors, right? Absolutely. Exactly. exactly. Well, Thomas, you win best hair of any of the superintendents <laughs> we've interviewed. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. After, after you have to thank my grandfather for that. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck in the school much. year this yes, year. Yes, have a great school year. Thank you. I appreciate the time. <laughs> nice All guy. All right. Super nice. Aw. And have your students headed back to class yet? Because if they have, we want to see those first day of school photos. You know, the outfits, the haircuts, and sometimes they're holding up signs. Yeah, send your first day of school pictures to us on the Channel 3 app. We're going to start showing them on the air, and you might just see your favorite student on TV. Hmm. And now that